Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane. and I'm back today with another Pandemic EBT video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the emergency allotment for November, and guys, more states have been added. Spoiler alert, California is still not on the list. Don't blame me, I'm just the messenger. Then we also are going to discuss the payout dates as well as Pandemic EBT catching up and finally sending out some of these cards, disaster benefits, SNAP actually has its own program where you can get rental assistance. Child, there's so much to talk about in this video. So if you wanna know what is going on in the lovely world of EBT, my darling, you already know what to do. Stay tuned, your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey friend. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family, super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in, just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you love me on this Friday, and thank God it's Friday. Okay, TGIF, who remembers that? I used to love those shows with like, Family Matters and Step by Step and Boy Meets World. Am I telling my age? Absolutely. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with the, oh, before we go ahead and get started, don't forget guys that if you are a SNAP recipient or Medicare, you can actually get Amazon Prime at a discounted rate. All you have to do is click that link down in the description box below. And while you're down there, if you wanna go ahead and put your email on my list to how to make money on YouTube for when the course goes live, drop that or even ask a question, you know, tell your girl what's up. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. For the extensions through November, we have Alabama, which will pay on November 30th. Arkansas is gonna pay on November 15th, 20th, and 25th. Arizona will pay between November 1st and the 3rd, so you should already got paid in Arizona. Colorado, November 6th through the 11th. Connecticut, November 19th. Delaware, November 24th. DC, November 21st and December 5th. Florida, the issue would be on November 5th, so you should have already received it. Georgia, November 18th, the 20th, the 22nd, and the 24th. So it's like even days every two days, all right. Guam, November 20th. Hawaii, December 10th. Idaho, December 11th through the 15th. Illinois, November 1st through November 20th. It just depends on your case number. They have a whole thing about the case, all right? Indiana, November 5th through the 23rd, odd days only. Iowa, November 1st through the 10th. Kansas, December 15th through the 24th. Ooh, Lord, that's a long time. Okay, Kentucky, November 2nd through the 19th. Louisiana, November 12th, the 19th and the 26th, and then December 3rd. So it's like every seven days in Louisiana. Maine, November 10th. Maryland, November 1st. Massachusetts, December 1st. Michigan, November 21st, right before Thanksgiving. Mississippi, November 2nd. Missouri, November 1st through November 22nd. Montana, November 2nd through the 6th. New Hampshire, November 10th. Then New Jersey, November 1st through the 5th. New Mexico is planning on doing a staggered schedule. North Carolina, it will run for 10 days, and that's November 22nd through December 1st. North Dakota, November 16th, but that is contingent upon the fiscal year 21 funds. Ohio, it said that all of them should be paid by November 19th. Oregon, they have three different runs, November 10th, November 27th, and then December 1st. Rhode Island, November 3rd. South Carolina, November 1st through the 19th. South Dakota, it says as of right now for the eligible population, it says that you will receive it by December 20th. Tennessee, November 1st through the 20th. Texas, it says November 9th through the 13th, but I received an email from someone and they said, hey, they got paid theirs today on Friday, so just got paid, hey, Friday night, ooh, ooh, snap is coming, hey, feeling right. All right, guys, so <laughs> in Utah, November 29th, Vermont, December 14th, Virginia, November 16th, Virgin Islands, November 15th, Washington, November 1st through the 3rd, and then a staggered schedule from the 3rd through the 20th. West Virginia, November 4th, and they'll do another run November 10th. 
Wisconsin, November 21st. Wyoming, it did not have a date, but you will get it as well. Now, for the pandemic EBT, this is for the school children that receive free or reduced lunch. As of right now, if you live in Kentucky, they are actually catching up on the pandemic EBT cards and benefits. So this is for, like I said, the free or reduced lunch. And it says some Kentuckians enrolled in Medicaid who were receiving pandemic EBT benefits as well are awaiting their new pandemic EBT card. And right now the health and family services, they are working with a company that is called the Fidelity Information LLC. And they are working through the backlog to try to get your cards issued to you as soon as possible. This week alone, they said they have mailed out more than 100,000 cards that were printed and mailed and nearly a half a million cards have been mailed um, on there. And they said it's about 135,000 that are still remaining. So children in Kentucky will receive their new cards by the end of the month. And if you were auto enrolled, you don't have to make any additional benefits at all. So we'll see as of right now. And that was for like some of the months from the spring. So a lot of people did not know that they qualified and that's what they're doing. All right. So as of right now, a lot of anti-hunger groups are calling on Joe Biden to reverse some of President Donald Trump's signatures for the initiative. So they said with nearly 24 million Americans um, reporting that they don't have enough to eat, they are urging President-elect Joe Biden to expand the SNAP, WIC, and pandemic EBT. So I know a lot of you guys have been asking for a pandemic EBT for like October, November, and December because some states only approved it for August and September. Now, these groups are asking him to reverse the public charge rule, which would deny green cards to immigrants who use food stamps or any other public benefits. Now, in Biden's campaign, they have proposed increasing the SNAP benefits by 15% and providing low-income families with about $100 per month in extra nutritional support. Now, the 15% right now, we know that that was going back and forth with the HEROES Act. So we'll see what President-elect Joe Biden decides to do, but they are urging him to expand the pandemic EBT. So once it happens or, you know, I got you. All right, so moving along for disaster SNAP benefits. As of right now, five more parishes were approved for Hurricane Delta, which I think that happened on October 9th. Now, they haven't put anything out for Hurricane Zeta just yet. I'll be watching for that. But beginning on November 12th, it was approved where you can actually apply if you stay in additional five parishes in Louisiana for disaster benefits. The application in the second phase will be open from November 16th through Friday, November 20th. Now, I'm not going to even try to pronounce some of these. So these don't look too bad. Okay, so it looks like it was Beauregard Lafayette. Rapidus, Rapidus St. Landry and St. Martin. These parishes were approved based on the preliminary damage assessment. And they said that if you previously received disaster SNAP benefits due to like Hurricane Laura, you don't have to apply, they got you. But they will start to issue out these benefits to residents by November 17th as well. And you can go online and apply for that. Now, they also have for the California Department of Social Services announced more food benefits that have been available for additional wildfire victims as well. So if you are in Fresno, Madera, San Bernardino, San Diego, LA, Napa, Sonoma, Shasta, and some other ones that I cannot pronounce, then you may be eligible to receive the Disaster Cal Fresh Food Benefits as part of their continuing disaster recovery efforts. Don't get mad at me and, you know, I don't know why California did not approve for the emergency allotment for November. I don't know. But I'm trying to figure out why. But a family of four, if you get the disaster benefits for the wildfire, with a monthly income of $2,893, you can receive up to $646. Now, individuals who have lived or worked have been impacted by the counties during these specified days. You are eligible but remember that on there, the money was spent because of like just wildfires. If you had money that was lost from you not being able to attend work or damage to your home or business, you can apply. You may apply between November 16th and November 20th as well. 
all right here and then with snap in washington snap is launching their eviction rent assistance for unemployed struggling residents the spokane neighborhood action partners snap okay launched a new service to help residents facing eviction pay their bills and it says that if you cannot afford to pay your bills and you're unemployed and say you're on snap benefits snap will pay up to 80 percent of the six months worth of rent now on there you must meet some of the requirements that they have where as such as like you were previously homeless within the last five years you was evicted within the last seven years you had a housing disruption due to your race gender ethnicity um, or more than 50% of your monthly income goes to rent. So they do have that as well for struggling residents. So that's what we have on this Friday, guys. It's just a Friday of news. I really wish that I could have interjected my personality. But you know what? Sometimes, girl, you just got to get the news out there. So that's all we have. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye, guys.